Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be using the chart for Litecoin USD one day candles from Bitfinex to teach how you trade different types of uptrends. Uh, Litecoin is uptrending very, very nicely. So I'm going to use this as an example. Um, how do we know that it's uptrending? Uh, basically because we're doing higher highs and higher lows. So as you can see here, this high is higher than the previous one and uh, this high is higher than the previous one and so on. And this low is higher than the previous one and this low is higher than the previous one and so on. Uh, another indicator that we are uptrending is because the moving average, in this case the 50 day moving average, which is the red line here, it's always uh, below the price and also the price, every time the price touches this 50 day moving average, it bounces. Uh, from the very first time here, it uh, goes in a wave, it touches, it bounces, then it touches again, it bounces up again, then it touches again, it bounces up again. And right now we are about to touch it again, so it could be an opportunity to make profit if it indeed bounces again and we continue the uptrend. Of course, we don't know if it's going to continue because it can reverse at any time. But I'll teach you very quick how you trade uh, uptrends. Say, for example, that we are somewhere here. We don't know what's going what's to happen in the future, but we are uptrending nicely. So we want to enter here when, when this wave finishes retracing. We want to get it at the lower at the at the lowest point possible and then enter at that point and then take our profit at the highest point possible before the wave bounces back down again so how do we get that using the fibonacci tools uh, we use the fibonacci retracement to get our target entry so we click uh, in point a which is the um, where the wave starts and then point b uh, we're at the top of the wave Okay, so it gives you a few lines here where it, uh, where it could uh, bounce on one of these Fibonacci lines. The more common one, the one that usually works is the 61.8, is the most common one, but it could be any really. But let's take the common one just for the sake of uh, doing this tutorial quick. Let's anticipate that the price is gonna bounce at my uh, 61.8 uh, Fibonacci line. Let's put a mark here at the 61. Point eight. So I'll put my entry target here in a line. Now um, let's anticipate that the price will bounce here. How do I know where it's going to stop going up and it's going to bounce back down again uh, so that I can get my uh, maximum profit possible? For that we use the Fibonacci extension tool. Uh, we grab this tool and we click on point A. You don't have to point in the specific candle. You can point at anywhere in the candle, uh, sorry, anywhere in the canvas, uh, as long as it's at the same horizontal level where the, the wave starts. So I'm going to do it here because if, if I put it right here, we're not going to see the numbers. So I'll just click here, but just so you know, it's you know at the same horizontal level to where the wave starts. Okay, so uh, click here, A. Same thing for the for the second click. I have to click where the at the very top of the wave, but I don't have to do it in the specific candle. I can do it anywhere in the canvas so long as it's at the same horizontal level. So this would be a point B, and then the the click in the point C is gonna be at the um, at my, the Fibonacci level that I got uh, from my Fibonacci retracement tool. Are predicting that the, um, that the price will bounce at that level. So I click there anticipating that the price is going to bounce there. So if the price bounces there, this is the, the profit taking estimates that I'm going to get and I get a few lines up. Okay. So before you actually enter the trade, you have to wait until the, um, the price actually bounces in one of your Fibonacci uh, lines. You see one, two or three candles like showing that it's going to bounce. And then you cross check that you have at least two more indicators confirming that that's going to be, um, you know, a bullish movement. And if you have three indicators uh, confirming the same thing, then you enter the trade. But you never enter the trade before it actually starts bouncing and it actually bounces in one of the Fibonacci lines. Now, let's see what happened in the future. Let's see how accurate this is. So the price actually bounced here. That Fibonacci tool was correct. And now let's see the profit taking from here to, to the top of the 
to the top of the wave. How accurate these tools are here. Hey? Look, the profit taking was exactly at the line number one. It didn't, uh, it wasn't the 1.6, but it was exactly at the one here. So that was one of our um, target profits and it just stopped right there. So that was a valid trade. Now, when this is when you are um, trading uh, higher highs and higher lows in uptrends. But what happens when we get uh, lower highs and same level, same level lows? Well, you use the exact same tools, but then you have in consideration when you get one lower high, you need to draw a, a descending uh, resistance like this from your previous high to your new lower high. And then you also draw a resistant, a horizontal resistance Okay, so for this, you use the same tools that I, I was teaching you before, um, the Fibonacci retracement and the Fibonacci extension uh, to get an estimate uh, of where uh, the price could go if it jumps here and we continue to the in the, in the bullish uptrend. But you need to have these lines in consideration and you don't enter the trade until the price actually bounces in your Fibonacci lines also, you cross check with three more indicators and also the extra step, you don't enter the trade until the price actually breaks out of this descending resistance line that, that we have here. When we get these types of, um, of uh, lower highs in an uptrend, it usually happens three times. Uh, the same as when we get uh, same level highs and same level lows. Here we have an example before. Uh, we got three highs at the same level here okay so but we got three um three same level highs here it usually when you when you um trend this part of the uptrend it's we're still uptrending right we have the the moving average below trending up so we're st we're still uptrending but we st we start to get uh same level highs you it usually happens three times see it confirms three times at the same level and then it breaks out the thing is you use the same fibonacci tools that i taught you how to do it but you plus you don't enter the trade until you actually break out of this uh, horizontal resistance line look at what happens when it when the price is able to break out this resistance line boom it goes up so the same applies for lower lows when you get low you know, when you get lower lows it usually confirms three times so we're still waiting for one more here and then the next one if the price is able to break out this uh, descending resistance it will probably go up high but um honestly i don't think litecoin is going to be able to to break out of this because the whole market to me is going down and uh, I could be wrong, of course, but that's how I see it. I don't think Litecoin is going to break out. But if it does, uh, in the next wave, I would expect that it's going to bounce one more time here, giving me three, uh, three confirmations for the lower lows. And after that, I, I would be watching because um, if it breaks out this line, that would be a bullish, a bullish entry. Then we can you know, cross check with three more indicators, do our Fibonacci lines. And that would be if we, if we get it all positive, that would be a, a good entry for, for Litecoin. Uh, I hope that, was, that this was clear, guys. Uh, if not, please leave comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.